guys welcome back to my channel so today I have another tutorial for you and you guys are requesting an all brown matte kind of like smoky eye kind of like a daytime appropriate smoky eye I did this look on a client about two weeks ago I want to say it was just like an all brown rich chocolatey smoky um, with no liner or actually like very limited liner and some like wispy lashes I changed the lip up on her I did like a really pale nude but you guys always see me in nude colors so I figured I would switch it up so I used Dusty Rose from Anastasia with Pure Hollywood on top just a little bit to lighten it up this look is super easy to recreate so and really really simple and quick so I hope you guys enjoy this I'll probably do a darker version of this look like maybe an even darker brown on the lid or maybe a black let me know if you guys want to see that. I definitely want to do the black smoky eyes, so that's why I kind of went a little bit lighter with this one because I know some people don't like that like intense smokiness. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so for this tutorial, I actually teamed up with Avon. So I'm starting off with their Face Perfector, and this has SPF 20, and this is going to minimize the appearance of pores and keep you matte all day. I actually really like the texture of this one. I feel like it really did mattify me, and it gave me a really nice, smooth canvas. My mom actually used to sell Avon back in the day, and Avon's all about empowering women. They've been around for over 125 years, and they have so many representatives, like over 6 million. So when they reached out to me, I was like, yes, I am so down because they are all about women empowerment. They actually reached out to me, so I did get these products sent for free, so I was trying them out, and I did actually really like them. So I'll tell you guys more about how I felt about each product as I go along. But for a foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 108 Caramel Beige. And it is a little bit light for me, but I am going to bronze up my face with one of Avon's bronzers because the shade 109 was a little bit too dark for me in the L'Oreal foundation. So I'm using shade 108. And I know I used to think that Avon you could only buy through a representative, but there's actually three ways. You can buy through a representative or online. And you can also just order directly from Avon.com. So I'm using their concealer, and this is the Total Extra Lasting Concealer in the shade Medium. And I really liked it. I felt like it was bright enough, but it wasn't like a full coverage. It was a medium coverage, which I actually like. I don't like it too thick under my eyes, so it was perfect. And then I'm setting it with the MAC Set Powder. This is really nice and thin, so it's... Just like the Laura Mercier, it gives me the same effect, but sometimes I just like to switch it up. Now to bronze up my face and give me a little bit of a glow, I'm using the Avon Bronze Glow Bronzing Pearls. And this is in the shade Bronze. I'm not really used to using bronzing pearls or like pearlesque pearl type products, but it's actually pretty fun. And I'm using this Sephora brush. It was like a, I think, limited edition brush, um, but yeah. Really, it's really pretty because it has like flowers. I just got it because of the flowers. So I'm just bronzing up around my face to give me back some color. This color is a bit warm, so it's almost on the like reddish tone. And then I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And sometimes I use a brush and sometimes I use my finger. I kind of alternate between. Mine is kind of drying out, so yeah. There's that. And so this is basically going to ensure that the shadow lasts all day and all night. So I'm using, again, Soft Ochre, which is a nice yellow toned color. There also is Painterly, which is more neutral based. I switch between those two. And then I'm going into the Viseart palette and I'm using this warm shade. Now you don't have to go out and get this palette. It is very expensive. You can just use any warm tone neutral transition color. And I'm using my favorite brush, the Sephora Pro Crease Brush, number 10. And I'm just placing this into my crease as a transition. Kind of messily, you want to just lay this color down first. And then we're going to go into the matte brown. This one's kind of cool toned. It's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of warm. It's a, it's a very odd brown, but I do really like it. And I'm going to pack this on with the Sigma brush. Now, you can use any like flat brush. As you can see, I had some fallout on my cheeks. So you want to kind of tilt your head back. I didn't do this, but you want to tilt your head back a little when you're applying a color like this or any pigments or glitters to avoid any fallout. Um, just tilt back and then pack on. But 
I had some fallout. I can just dust it off later. So I'm just packing and packing. Then I'm going in with this slightly darker chocolate color. And I'm using, I believe, a Morphe brush. Yes. And I'm just putting this into my crease to deepen things up. This color definitely adds a lot of dimension. And it's really going to pull the look together. So for this look, you really just need like three shades of brown. A light one for your transition, one for your packing on on the lid, and then one in the crease. This is going to give you a lot of dimension and it's going to make your eyes look or appear to be deeper than what they really are. I like my eyes to look deep set so this is why I always go in with a lot of blending and a lot of packing and a lot of layering but that's just my style of makeup. And then I still felt like the brown wasn't rich enough so I went in with the original Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I'm using this brown matte shade just to kind of place it right on top to give it a little more richness. I really wanted the color to look very chocolatey and very rich and brown and then back in with that blending brush because that's just the way I like to do my makeup. I like to pack and then blend and then pack and then blend. I find that it gives me the most blended appearance and everything just looks seamless. For some reason, Coco and Princess always want to bark when I'm doing a voiceover, but that's okay. I still love them. I am tight lining with Sharina Tarantino Tommy Jet Black Liner. You can use any black liner. And then this product is so awesome. It's this Avon Mega Effects Mascara. Okay, so it has like this really cool contraption for a wand, which actually like swivels. And I just want to point out how amazing do my lashes look. I mean, like seriously, they looked so black. And you can do this look in, with just mascara. Like if you're going to work or school, you don't have to apply falsies, but you know I am. But this mascara, like, I am so intrigued by it. I tried it out a couple of times, and every single time, I was just like, wow, my lashes look not long, but just black and voluminous, which I really enjoy because my lashes are long but very thin. So I was enjoying that, yes. <laughs> then I'm going in with this Avon Glow Bronzing Powder in the shade Warm Glow, and I'm just bronzing up my cheeks. I missed doing this, just applying, like, a bronzer on my cheeks. It really just gives you a lot of warmth and just pulls the look together. I am going to be applying a little bit of blush, but I wanted the bronziness to really stand out more than a blush color. So, love that. And I'm using a MAC Daddy brush and just blending, blending, and blending upwards. Then I'm using the Socialized Glamorous Lashes. I wanted something wispy and natural um, so you can still peek through and see the shadow. Because if you use a really intense lash with this look, because we're not using liner, it kind of is going to take away from the shadow and all the blending that you did. So I like lashes that you can kind of see through for this kind of look. Ardell Demi Wispies are an awesome alternative. I love Ardell Demi Wispies from the drugstore. Like one of my favorites of all time. Then I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury um, eye pencil. It's just a rich brown cocoa shade. You guys know I love me a brown liner. <laughs> and then I am using that warm brown weird color <laughs> underneath my eyes. This is my favorite brush for underneath my eyes. It's the Kat Von D shade eye, shade light eye palette. No, shade light eye brush. There you go. And I feel like it's just the perfect brush for underneath the eyes. It has a pointed side. We can really like pack on a deep color and then you can blend everything out with the other side. So it's dual ended and I am so obsessed. And don't be afraid to just pack on that brown until it gets to the richness that you really want it to be. You can do a light wash of brown or a really like deep one. This is a new product that I'm trying. I fell in love with it after this time that I used it. It's the Hourglass Sculpting Pencil, the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Warm Blonde. Obviously, I'm not blonde anymore. Yes, I went black, black to black. But I like using lighter shades on my brows. You guys know this. So I was so impressed by this brow pencil. My brows looked hairy and just like full, but not too defined. You know, because you guys kind of seem to like me with more natural-esque brows and not the, like, really sculpted brows. I mean, I like my sculpted, you know, Inglot Gel or Dip Brow kind of brow too, but some days you just don't want that. Like, for a daytime look, you just want a softer brow. And you guys have been requesting me to do looks with softer brows. So, I listened, and here we go. These are just softer, but still, like, bushy and dark, but, like, not too dark brows. Are you feeling me? Are you getting what I'm saying? Like, the color is light, but they're bold brows. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Bold, bushy, and full, but not too defined. And I'm actually really feeling it, so. Talking, like, um, brows. Well, brows are really important, so. I feel like I can ramble about brows forever and ever. 
And it, you guys completely get me. You guys just totally get me. <laughs> then I'm cleaning them up just because they were just a little bit too dark for me. And I feel like cleaning them up kind of makes me feel a little better. <laughs> so I'm using this MAC concealer in NC20. And I did highlight on top of the brow. Now, a lot of artists will tell you to not use concealer on the top of the brow, just underneath. But as long as you blend it out really well... I think you should be fine. I mean, obviously, you don't want to use way too light of a concealer, but I think, like, one shade lighter is fine. Um, so, yeah, I'm just blending this out, and I'm using this Anastasia brush, but I am going to go ahead with and use the Beauty Blender to blend it a little bit more because sometimes if you blend the concealer just with a brush, you still can see that harsh line if you take photos or in direct sunlight. You can still kind of see that concealed brow, so... I've been kind of like liking going over everything with a beauty blender just to make sure there's no harsh lines. You don't want to be that girl. <laughs> so you see here, I'm using whatever foundation was left on that beauty blender and I'm just blending away. Like I always say, blend until your arms fall off. Just blend, blend, blend. And when you think you're done blending, you're not. And here I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the shade Dusty Rose and I love it. It's so pretty. And today I wanted to do... A slightly overfilled lip just a little bigger normally I would go in with a lip liner but I don't really have a lip liner that I like for this I guess you can use whirl or sore but sometimes I just don't feel like using lip liners it's just a little bit too much of a hassle especially when I'm in a rush so I just made sure to like line my lips with the liquid lipstick if that makes any sense with the doe foot you can kind of get really close and yeah then I'm using that Vizier palette, the white shade, on my brow bone. Because Juno, you know, I like me a bright <laughs> brow bone. My phone is going off. Oh, don't you miss my old <laughs> voiceovers where my phone would just go off every five seconds. And you guys would be like, I thought that was my phone vibrating. <laughs> I miss that. So now I'm using MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara on my lower lashes because that is my favorite one to use. And I made the mistake of putting mascara on these lashes. It didn't go so well. Then I'm using a little bit of MAC Peaches, like the tiniest bit. And I'm going to be extra and I'm going to use two highlights. I'm using Anastasia Riviera and So Hollywood. These are brand new. I got them on Macy's.com, I think like two weeks ago. I want to say two weeks ago. Yes! So first I use Riviera. So right now you're seeing Riviera in action. And then I put a little bit of So Hollywood right on top. And I'm using my favorite fan brush by Morphe, the M310. If you... Want to order on Morphe, I have a coupon code. It's Rosita, so it's really an inexpensive fan brush, and it's my favorite, so love that. And a little bit of highlighting on the nose, but just the tip and a little bit higher. I feel like if I highlight my whole nose, sometimes it's just too much. Then I'm doing on my chin, making myself look like a glowing glow ball. <laughs> like, I just wanted to be super dewy this day. And then I'm just blending everything out with that NARS Yakio brush. And then I'm using So Hollywood from Anastasia in the center of my lips. And I'm blending that out with a Morphe brush. So I kind of like the lighter in the center kind of look. It's kind of like an ombre lip, but very, very slightly. So I love this lip combo. It looks so pretty and it makes your lips look so big. Another trick is to put a little bit of highlight right in the center of the lips to make them look even poutier. To finish the look off, I'm using a little bit of the NYC liquid liner on the lash line. Because when you use lashes with no liner, sometimes you can see the band depending on the lash. And depending on how close you put it. This day I didn't put it too close, so I figured I would put a little bit of liner to hide that band. Don't forget to check out Avon. I'll have a link down below. And if you use the coupon code LIPPY, you will get a free lipstick. And that is the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed it.